In computing, a word is the natural unit of data used by a particular processor design. A word is a fixed-sized piece of data handled as a unit by the instruction set or the hardware of the processor. The number of bits in a word, the word size, word width, or word length is an important characteristic of any specific processor design or computer architecture. The size of a word is reflected in many aspects of a computer's structure and operation. The majority of the registers in a processor are usually word sized, and the largest piece of data that can be transferred to and from the working memory in a single operation is a word in many not all architectures. The largest possible address size, used to designate a location in memory, is typically a hardware word. Here. Hardware word means the full sized natural word of the processor, as opposed to any other definition used. Modern processors, including those in embedded systems, usually have a word size of 8, 16, 24, 32, or 64 bits. Those in modern general purpose computers, in particular, usually use 32 or 64 bits. Special purpose digital processors, such as DSPs for instance, may use other sizes, and many other sizes have been used historically, including 9, 12, 18, 24, 26, 36, 39, 40, 48, and 60 bits. Several of the earliest computers and a few modern as well used binary coded decimal rather than plain binary, typically having a word size of 10 or 12 decimal digits, and some early decimal computers had no fixed word length at all. The size of a word can sometimes differ from the expected due to backward compatibility with earlier computers. If multiple compatible variations or a family of processors share a common architecture and instruction set but differ in their word sizes, their documentation and software may become notationally complex to accommodate the difference see size families below. Uses of words Depending on how a computer is organized, word size units may be used for fixed point numbers, holders for fixed point, usually integer, numerical values may be available in one or in several different sizes, but one of the sizes available will almost always be the word. The other sizes, if any, are likely to be multiples or fractions of the word size. The smaller sizes are normally used only for efficient use of memory. When loaded into the processor, their values usually go into a larger, word sized holder. Floating point numbers Holders for floating point numerical values are typically either a word or a multiple of a word. Addresses Holders for memory addresses must be of a size capable of expressing the needed range of values but not be excessively large, so often the size used is the word though it can also be a multiple or fraction of the word size. Registers Processor registers are designed with a size appropriate for the type of data they hold, e.g. integers, floating point numbers or addresses. Many computer architectures use general purpose registers that can hold any of several types of data. These registers must be sized to hold the largest of the types. Historically, this is the word size of the architecture, though increasingly special purpose, larger registers have been added to deal with newer types. Memory processor transfer. When the processor reads from the memory subsystem into a register or writes a register's value to memory, the amount of data transferred is often a word. Historically, this amount of bits which could be transferred in one cycle was also called a catena in some environments such as the bull gamma 60. 
In simple memory subsystems, the word is transferred over the memory data bus, which typically has a width of a word or half word. In memory subsystems that use caches, the word size transfer is the one between the processor and the first level of cache. At lower levels of the memory hierarchy, larger transfers, which are a multiple of the word size, are normally used. Unit of address resolution in a given architecture, successive address values designate successive units of memory, this unit is the unit of address resolution. In most computers, the unit is either a character e.g. a byte or a word. A few computers have used bit resolution. If the unit is a word, then a larger amount of memory can be accessed using an address of a given size at the cost of added complexity to access individual characters. On the other hand, if the unit is a byte, then individual characters can be addressed i.e. selected during the memory operation. Instructions Machine instructions are normally the size of the architecture's word, such as in RISC architectures, or a multiple of the char size that is a fraction of it. This is a natural choice since instructions and data usually share the same memory subsystem. In Harvard architectures the word sizes of instructions and data need not be related, as instructions and data are stored in different memories, for example, the processor in the 1ESS electronic telephone switch had 37-bit instructions and 23-bit data words. Topic: Word size choice. When a computer architecture is designed, the choice of a word size is of substantial importance. There are design considerations which encourage particular bit group sizes for particular uses, e.g., for addresses, and these considerations point to different sizes for different uses. However, considerations of economy and design strongly push for one size, or a very few sizes related by multiples or fractions submultiples to a primary size. That preferred size becomes the word size of the architecture. Character size was in the past pre-variable sized character encoding one of the influences on unit of address resolution and the choice of word size. Before the mid 1960s, characters were most often stored in 6 bits. This allowed no more than 64 characters, so the alphabet was limited to uppercase. Since it is efficient in time and space to have the word size be a multiple of the character size, word sizes in this period were usually multiples of 6 bits in binary machines. A common choice then was the 36-bit word, which is also a good size for the numeric properties of a floating-point format. After the introduction of the IBM System 360 design, which used 8-bit characters and supported lowercase letters, the standard size of a character or more accurately, a byte became 8 bits. Word sizes thereafter were naturally multiples of 8 bits, with 16, 32, and 64 bits being commonly used. <laughs> <laughs> Variable word architectures Early machine designs included some that used what is often termed a variable word length. In this type of organization, a numeric operand had no fixed length but rather its end was detected when a character with a special marking, often called word mark, was encountered. Such machines often used binary coded decimal for numbers. This class of machines included the IBM 702, IBM 705, IBM 7080, IBM 7010, UNIVAC 1050, IBM 1401, and IBM 1620. 
Most of these machines work on one unit of memory at a time and since each instruction or datum is several units long, each instruction takes several cycles just to access memory. These machines are often quite slow because of this. For example, instruction fetches on an IBM 1620 model I take 8 cycles just to read the 12 digits of the instruction the Model 2 reduced this to 6 cycles, or 4 cycles if the instruction did not need both address fields. Instruction execution took a completely variable number of cycles, depending on the size of the operands. Topic: Word and byte addressing. The memory model of an architecture is strongly influenced by the word size. In particular, the resolution of a memory address, that is, the smallest unit that can be designated by an address, has often been chosen to be the word. In this approach, address values which differ by one designate adjacent memory words. This is natural in machines which deal almost always in word or multiple word units and has the advantage of allowing instructions to use minimally sized fields to contain addresses which can permit a smaller instruction size or a larger variety of instructions. When byte processing is to be a significant part of the workload, it is usually more advantageous to use the byte, rather than the word, as the unit of address resolution. This allows an arbitrary character within a character string to be addressed straightforwardly. A word can still be addressed, but the address to be used requires a few more bits than the word resolution alternative. The word size needs to be an integer multiple of the character size in this organization. This addressing approach was used in the IBM 360, and has been the most common approach in machines designed since then. Individual bytes can be accessed on a word-oriented machine in one of two ways. Bytes can be manipulated by a combination of shift and mask operations in registers. Moving a single byte from one arbitrary location to another may require the equivalent of the following. Load the word containing the source byte. Shift the source word to align the desired byte to the correct position in the target word and the source word with a mask to zero out all but the desired bits load the word containing the target byte and the target word with a mask to zero out the target byte OR the registers containing the source and target words to insert the source byte store the result back in the target location alternatively many word oriented machines implement byte operations with instructions using special byte pointers in registers or memory for an example the pdp10 byte pointer contained the size of the byte in bits allowing different sized bytes to be accessed the bit position of the byte within the word and the word address of the data Instructions could automatically adjust the pointer to the next byte on, for example, load and deposit store operations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Powers of 2. Different amounts of memory are used to store data values with different degrees of precision. The commonly used sizes are usually a power of two multiple of the unit of address resolution byte or word. Converting the index of an item in an array into the address of the item then requires only a shift operation rather than a multiplication. In some cases this relationship can also avoid the use of division operations. As a result, most modern computer designs have word sizes and other operand sizes that are a power of 2 times the size of a byte. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Size families. 
As computer designs have grown more complex, the central importance of a single word size to an architecture has decreased. Although more capable hardware can use a wider variety of sizes of data, market forces exert pressure to maintain backward compatibility while extending processor capability. As a result, what might have been the central word size in a fresh design has to coexist as an alternative size to the original word size in a backward compatible design. The original word size remains available in future designs, forming the basis of a size family. In the mid-1970s, DEC designed the VAX to be a 32-bit successor of the 16-bit PDP-11. They used Word for a 16-bit quantity, while LongWord referred to a 32-bit quantity. This was in contrast to earlier machines, where the natural unit of addressing memory would be called a word, while a quantity that is one-half a word would be called a half-word. In fitting with this scheme, a VAX quadwid is 64 bits. They continued this word, long word, quadward terminology with the 64-bit alpha. Another example is the x86 family, of which processors of three different word lengths 16-bit, later 32 and 64-bit have been released, while word continues to designate a 16-bit quantity. As software is routinely ported from one word length to the next, some APIs and documentation define or refer to an older and thus shorter word length than the full word length on the CPU that software may be compiled for. Also, similar to how bytes are used for small numbers in many programs, a shorter word 16 or 32 bits may be used in contexts where the range of a wider word is not needed especially where this can save considerable stack space or cache memory space. For example, Microsoft's Windows API maintains the programming language definition of Word as 16 bits, despite the fact that the API may be used on a 32 or 64 bit x86 processor, where the standard word size would be 32 or 64 bits, respectively. Data structures containing such different sized words refer to them as word 16 bits, 2 bytes, dword 32 bits, 4 bytes and qword 64 bits, 8 bytes respectively. A similar phenomenon has developed in Intel's x86 assembly language because of the support for various sizes and backward compatibility in the instruction set. Some instruction mnemonics carry D or Q identifiers denoting double quad or double quad, which are in terms of the architecture's original 16-bit word size. In general, new processors must use the same data word lengths and virtual address widths as an older processor to have binary compatibility with that older processor. Often carefully written source code, written with source code compatibility and software portability in mind, can be recompiled to run on a variety of processors, even ones with different data word lengths or different address widths or both. Topic. Table of word sizes Topic. See also Integer computer science.